Money World El mundo quiere dinero Money World Se arregla con dinero Yo, what's good, YouTube? What's good, Does Nation? Peace, love, and light, man. As always, sending you guys good vibes. You seen the title, you seen the thumbnail. Let's get right into the video. How to lose weight fast. Now, I have to preface this video by saying this. A lot of times when I have clients that come to me that want to lose weight, they have a certain problem area or people in general that say that they want to lose weight, they're typically talking about losing fat. So we have to have a understanding that you know, fat is actually something that's natural, one. And there's a reason why as a species, as a human race, we've been able to adapt and survive, you know, throughout these thousands of years because of our fat storage abilities. So we have to understand that. I also have to say this, that, you know, you can't necessarily spot reduce one area. I have a lot of clients that come to me that say, how do I get fat off my chest? How do I get fat off of my, you know, calves? How do I lose my fupa, my back fat, my love handles? All of these different questions that we're gonna address today. And I wanna say that you can't just spot reduce, but you can decrease your overall body fat percentage. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my top methods, my top tips that I use for myself, and also my clients that come to me that wanna lose weight. I'm gonna tell you how I get them and how I get myself in the best shape possible. So let's get right into it, man. The first thing that I wanna discuss with you guys is that there are different types of fat and it's important that you have an understanding of these different types of fat. So there is subcutaneous, there is essential, and there's also visceral. Now subcutaneous is basically the normal fat that's gonna be underneath the, the skin. Uh, this is typically the fat that people wanna lose when they wanna look more aesthetic, when they wanna lean down for the summer, you feel me? They wanna have the glutes out, they wanna be feeling good. There's nothing wrong with losing this type of fat, right? Especially if you get excessive amounts of fat. There's essential, which is basically what we need to survive. These are essential lipids, essential fats that the body needs to run efficiently. Oftentimes when you'll see athletes or bodybuilders or you know certain types of athletes they have to cut weight really quickly when they get below certain percentages of body fats this can actually throw off their hormones it can cause all types of issues um, in men with testosterone uh, you know you can have all these different types of issues so it's important that we understand how to lose weight and uh, overall body fat healthily and then last but definitely not least there is visceral fat Visceral fat is by far the worst fat. This is typically fat that is around the organs, that's that's around your abdominal area, um, you know, that's around your intestines, and this is very bad. This can lead to many diseases and, you know, ultimately death. When people come to me and say they want to lose weight, typically it's because they have an excess amount of fat. Maybe they want to tone up, they want to look good. I have to say this though, it's very possible for you to be going to the gym, you're hitting it hard, you're lifting weights, and you're doing cardio, and you keep on putting yourself on the scale and you're not losing weight. This is because depending on what type of training style you're doing, you can be losing fat, but you can also be building muscle. And so muscle is, is more dense than fat. So this is why sometimes some of my clients get frustrated when you know they're doing everything that they have to do, but the numbers on the scale aren't going down. This could be because you're actually building lean muscle tissue, you're losing the fat, but the weight you know, is not necessarily being reflected on the uh, scale. So this is why I, I always tell people, go based off of how you look and how you feel when it comes to actually losing weight. This is how I personally, in my life, with my methods, I'm a health and wellness coach. I have a degree in exercise science and uh, I've trained you know, through YouTube and in person, I've trained millions of people from all over the world, from over 110 countries, man. So this is how I personally drop body fat, how I get lean, how I get my clients lean. So the first thing I, I always tell and put in my programs for my clients is to just either limit or completely eliminate processed sugars, you feel me? So this is the white sugar, this is the bleach, brown sugar. These sugars, not only are they extremely addictive, many studies have been done that it's more addictive than, you know, cocaine, <laughs> but um, these sugars actually get converted in into fat. And so, you know, especially in a Western society, a lot of these processed foods and, and things that are allowed to be consumed by the average person, you can find these in, in all types of processed packaged stuff. They're in sauces, they're in coffee, you know, all these other things. These sugars are the reason why so many people are 
not the only reason but it's a big prominent reason why so many people are you know more obese than traditional i would say limit sugars or completely eliminate processed sugars and you can go with an alternative something natural like a natural sweetener such as honey such as you know dates so before i get into that i often get asked oh you know i can't have all those fruits that that's still sugar no it's not equal at all okay so i think that's a big uh misconception that a lot of people have is that fruit sugar is bad now anything in excess of course is not the best for you but fruit sugar also comes with different things like fiber which is going to fill you up more so the difference between processed sugar and actual fruit sugar is for example when you drink a cup of coffee there could be 60 grams of sugar in there you cannot sit down and eat 40 apples you can't because all that fiber is going to fill you up and satiate you so you would have the amount of apples you would have to eat to get 60 grams of sugar versus that one cup of Starbucks coffee is completely different. You would be satiated before. And that's the thing with these processed sugars and these chemicals is that your brain and your body doesn't know necessarily when to stop because it's throwing off your regulators and your hormones. So that's the main difference. And this is why so many people are overweight. Okay, so that's one. Cut off the sugar completely, uh, substitute it with an alternative, and let's get into the next one. What's up family? So you guys know that I am big on herbs on this channel, man. So that's why today I decided to partner up with Bionatal Black Seed Oil. You guys have heard me talk about them before in previous videos. If you guys are not familiar with what Black Seed Oil is, there's over 113 benefits. Okay, this has been used traditionally in, you know, Eastern medicine and African medicine, Asian medicine, you know, for thousands of thousands of years, they actually found Black Seed Oil in King Tut's coffin. Would you believe that? So I will actually link an article down below that'll, you know, be able to inform you guys a, a little bit more on some of the benefits. Now, personally, Personally, this is good for inflammation as an athlete. This is also good for cognitive function. Okay, this has been known to treat herpes and STDs, all of these other maladies. And if you don't believe me, just check out the article below. Okay, so thank you so much, BioNATO, for sponsoring this video, man. Right now, if you click the link down below and use my coupon code Dudley5, you will save 5%. Okay, and I have to tell you guys right now. This is from Ethiopia. This is some of the most potent black seed oil that I've had in my life. I've tried other brands. I'm not knocking other brands. But to be honest, when you taste this, it's, it's an acquired taste. It's going to go down like some gasoline. It is definitely potent. It is definitely rich. I recommend chasing it with some juice or, you know, like some lemonade or something, man. But um, this is an herb that I take every single day. You guys know that I'm big on the herbs, man. Right now, I'm, I'm getting ready for some, you know, surgery and this has been definitely bringing down the inflammation on my knee as an athlete man so once again click that link down below to go check them out man show them some love use my coupon code and i'm out drink a gallon of water i have all my clients drink a gallon of water i don't care if you're a small petite woman i don't care what you are i myself drink a minimum of a gallon of water this is going to flush out all of the toxins this is also going to promote healthy weight loss it's going to obliterate fat what i do every time i have a photo shoot or some type of a uh, commercial or video that i have to do and i have to go into it looking you know ready this is what i do to basically shed the extra pounds okay secondly is that uh or thirdly <laughs> i don't know thirdly right is that you want to know how many calories your body needs to maintain so down below i have linked a converter a calculator that's going to help you you know take your height your weight and it's going to tell you how much calories you need a day to maintain and then from there you can move forward in your journey to losing the weight losing the body fat okay next i drink tea now i drink soursop tea blue vervain which is also good for the prostate as a man you know and, and green tea i consume a lot of herbs these herbal teas i don't know what it is but it has a way of flushing out all of the toxins in the body especially a lot of us have a buildup of fecal matter in our colons which can lead to other issues and you know abnormalities and chronic illnesses i drink a lot of tea i try to drink at least a cup or two of tea a day and this enables me to flush out all my toxins which leads to me losing body fat losing weight when you take up that extra six pounds of fecal matter in your colon and you flush it out you're gonna weigh less <laughs> okay you're gonna weigh less i also consume herbs such as you know soursop and 
dark leafy greens such as kale. Now soursop is you know categorized as a mucilaginous herb. So what this is going to do, it's going to go in your body, lubricate everything, and it's going to have a weight. It's almost like a broom in the intestines, and it's going to you know sweep everything out of your intestines, out of your colon, leaving you empty. And so when you get rid of all this waste and this you know all of this leftover gunk in your body, you, you're going to lose weight. After that. You know, I recommend that once you do the conversion and you, you know, you understand your maintenance calories and things of that nature, you personally cut back on 200 to 500 calories a day. You know, you don't have to just completely go ahead and do it. You can start off small with 200 calories, go to 350, go to 400 and 500 calories a day. You know what I'm saying? So for example, if your maintenance uh, calories is 2,500 calories per day, Go down to 2,000 while you're still doing your normal, you know, activities and stuff like that. And just go back, dial it back a little bit. Next, eat whole foods. I cannot stress this enough. A lot of us in today's society, especially in the West, you know, are eating just a lot of processed foods. They're eating, you know, all types of packaged, prepackaged junk. Even things that are advertised as healthy that come in a box are not always healthy. I'll give you an example. You can, you know, see something that says an avocado chip or something. And then when you look in the back of the label, the avocado is the seventh ingredient. It's not the first ingredient. And, you know, in the US, the way it's done is that on the ingredients list, you have to list what's the most prominent thing, the most prominent ingredient of whatever you're buying. And so if the avocado is the seventh ingredient and you've got wheat and all these other flowers and, and, and things and oils, as the first six ingredients, you're not actually eating healthy. So that's one thing to definitely be mindful of when you're you know, consuming products when you're eating is you wanna make sure that you're eating whole foods, okay? I personally practice a predominantly plant-based diet depending on what country I'm in. This year, I've been out the country for most of the year. So when I'm in other countries, I will dabble in cultural dishes. I'll have fish. I'll have some, you know, turkey or something. But when I'm in the U.S., it's predominantly vegan, plant-based. You know what I'm saying for the most part. And so I do have two books where I do provide fully plant-based recipes. I myself have a sweet tooth. That's something that I've always struggled with. And so in my high bobbing dessert book, it's actually natural sweeteners that I put in all of my desserts such as honey and dates and things of that nature. So make sure to check that out. I will link both those books down below if you guys are interested in eating you know, plant-based. I recommend um, predominantly plant-based diets uh, for all of my clients. You can still enjoy your chicken, enjoy your fish and you know your, your seafood, but you wanna do those things in moderation. You wanna make sure that you're also getting all your greens, all your micronutrients, all your fiber. A lot of people these days are constipated, so I recommend just having a balanced diet. I personally do not consume dairy. Uh, most people are lactose intolerant, but I'm sure that you can find a way to, you know, balance all of these different things, you know, together to fit your life and to suit your needs. Last but not least, you can do all of these things that I just listed to you, but you must move your body. Forfait anti mouvement, compon. You have to move your body a little bit, okay? So uh, it doesn't have to be extreme for those of you that you know, are new to my channel. I have a plethora of, you know, home workouts on my channel from CrossFit, full body, high intensity. People really love that stuff, okay? But you don't have to, you know, do all the high intensity stuff, all the CrossFit stuff, all the, you know, heavy weights and all that stuff. If you're just starting out, I recommend, you know, because I do train senior citizens as well. I recommend that you just start off with just 30 minutes of just walking outside, walking around your neighborhood. You know, and I like to follow it up by either, you know, some light weights, you know, maybe 20 minutes of weights, 30 minutes of weights, maybe some deep stretching, but just move your body for at least an hour a day, okay? A lot of us have desk working jobs. A lot of us are not moving our body in ways that we should. A lot of us have a lot of stagnant energy, even on the more spiritual level. So I always subscribe movement to all my people to all my clients, you know, that wanna lose the weight, lose the stubborn fat, what are your activity levels like, okay? You have to move your body. It's okay to eat the whole foods, you know, drink the water, drink the tea, you know, be mindful of the ingredients that you're putting into your body, but you have to move. As human beings, we have to move, and so I believe and I've seen, you know, <laughs> that 
through all of these different things that I've listed paired with some exercise you know and as you get better you can start getting into the more high intensity things you know the hits and the crossfits and all that stuff you are gonna look phenomenal man not only are you gonna lose weight fast not only are you gonna you know gain muscle but you're gonna feel confident you're gonna feel good you're gonna look sexy without clothes on and honestly you're probably not gonna want to wear you know clothes anymore man <laughs> But yeah, man, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is how you lose weight fast. This is my method that I do for myself. This is what I do for my clients, man. And uh, I hope that you guys got some benefit out of this video. If you did, consider you know subscribing, hitting the bell to get notified uh, when I upload. Consider becoming a family member, man. Hit me with a like. You guys have no idea how much uh, likes help me in the al algorithm to reach out to more people so that we can help people, so that we can serve people, man. Appreciate you guys. As always, peace, love, and love. Peace, love, and love. <laughs> Peace, love, and light, man. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. And we out. Hi, I'm Danny. I'm 19. I literally have been struggling my weight for as long as I can remember. I've tried every single diet, every single exercise, fad, like anything you can name. I've probably done it, and I've definitely not succeeded. Until quarantine started, and I had to come home. And I was like, you know what? Let's do this. It's time to get serious. I tried all the big workout trends if you know what i'm talking about none of them worked for me if anything they made my body look worse in my opinion and then one day i looked up like quick cardio workout and dudley came up and i was like you know what let's try it i think it was his 15 minute tabata workout that i did first yeah i think it was that one the most amount of calories that i've burned in 15 minutes let me tell you that and it wasn't like super hard but it was hard enough that I felt like I was doing something. Like I'm a lazy person. I'm such a lazy person. <laughs> so the fact that I could do his workouts in such a short amount of time and burn a lot of calories was very important to me. Efficiency, 10 out of 10 for efficiency, I even give him. And literally everyone asked me how I lost weight or what videos to do. I recommend Dudley to them every single time because his videos honestly made me notice a big change in my appearance. Like he's gonna look like before. It doesn't look like now. So if you can do anything for your weight loss journey, try his video. Literally life changing. <laughs>